Hello there guys, my name is James. Uh, I'm just starting a completely brand new YouTube channel uh, as of the 17th of April 2022. I'm going to be uh, posting some Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. Um, I'm not a professional by any means whatsoever. Um, I love learning, I love creating 3D worlds in Unreal Engine. I've been doing it on Unreal Engine 4 and Unity. Um, messing around with Blender a little bit as well, but uh, I just love Unreal. Unreal is completely free to use yeah you can make games with it you can make cinematics with it they make the mandalorian series with it and a, and a whole plethora of other stuff um like the jungle book movie uh, the lion king movie so you can do so much with this completely free software so if you've seen the thumbnail and you can see all canyons and uh, it looks kind of like utah in america um that's what I'm going to show you roughly how to start making here. Uh, it's a it's a hugely creative process. If you've got a creative brain, you can just run away with this and uh, and just create so much cool stuff. So I'll dive straight into how you can get to the basics, the very basics, uh, if you're a beginner of creating a landscape. So open up Unreal Engine. You can download this from uh, the Epic Games website. Uh, open it up, start a new project and click the third person template. All right. So a third person template basically looks like this when you hit play yeah so this is this is how it looks when you first open a third person project all right so escape out of this and if you want to run around in your game and you've never played this before just hit play play there and then was and d to move around and the mouse and you know you got it right okay so let's fly out of this and you it'd be a good idea to uh, kind of learn the controls of everything too to move around as well maybe we'll cover that in a in another another topic one day so what i want to do is create a new landscape floor all right so what i need to do first is to get rid of this sort of playground that they've spawned into the game here so let's get rid of this and it's basically just a case of clicking on each individual one and deleting it these ramps these walls these shiny blue blocks all right let's get rid of all that Done. Right. We want our landscape floor. Top left hand corner, you'll see something called select mode. Press that, hit the landscape. Now, a new box appears with all our landscape uh, dimensions and what we can do with it here. And this green area is now a new landscape. So if we fly over here, you can see that this is a big open area that we can uh, make a landscape out of. So this is a template. Over here, you've got loads of things to mess around with. The size of the landscape, how um, many sections are in each size, the sections per, what is that one? The sections per component, which I've never really played with, really. I probably should. Um, but anyway, for the sake of just keeping everything basic, let's just leave those as they are. Now, for our material for our, uh, for our floor, essentially, yeah? Now, I'm going to do a canyon floor. So I've got a canyon floor material. Now... We'll cover it on a different video, something called Quixel Bridge. Now, Quixel Bridge is uh, like a free uh, marketplace full of like 16,000 assets where you can have surfaces, textures, uh, canyons, rocks, plants, flowers, people, so much stuff. Um, and it's the surface we're after here. So my surface was called Rocky, Rocky Canyon Floor. And this is it there. I'll show. I'll go through another video where I'll show you how to import from uh, from Quixel. That'll be a good second video, actually. So this is going to be the floor for our landscape. All right. And for the purpose of keeping everything basic, I'll hit create with the default settings already on. Create. Now, if I zoom in and see my floor, you can see it's horribly tiled. But that's again something we can have a look at on a different video. All right. And when I say tiled. You see, let's get off the paint. Ooh, manage. You can see the tiles on the floor. See how it's tiled and not smooth? Okay, maybe I'll show you at a, a different time if you can't see what I mean. But you know what I mean. Right, okay, so this is our new landscape. Okay, so up the settings up here, you've got sculpt, which you can make mountains. Somehow, oh, sculpt here. Yeah, so you can make the terrain bigger. You can smooth your terrain off. You can flatten, ramp, erosion, water, hydro, noise, retop. There's a whole array 
of different tools that you can do with all this landscape here. Sculpting is probably the most popular one because you can just, you know, you can make mountains and hills and, and everything like this. So if you want to undo what you've done, uh, just press shift and go back down and completely mess this up into one big smudgy hill. All right, okay, so if I hit play here, you can now see we've fallen and crashed. We're falling and in, fallen into our rocky canyon. So let me move our let me move our player start, which is select. That's our player start there. So you just want to make sure where your player start character is. Uh, just make sure you move this around so it's not underneath the map after you've messed around with it. Yeah. So this is now our canyon floor. It's not really, but you can see where I'm kind of going with this. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything with uh, this big, great big gaping hole down there. But for the purpose of showing you some tools of what you can do with this landscape, I suppose it's good uh, It's good to know. Right, so if I come out of this. Right, we've got our floor. Now what we want to do is add some rocks or some cliffs or anything. So bottom left-hand corner is something called Content Draw. All right, so other than the Mega Scans folder you see here, you get everything else inside the starter content when you start up a new level this level prototyping the ms preset starter content and third person all right so when you start installing things from quixel bridge you'll get this mega scans folder and inside this mega scans folder are uh, whatever you've basically installed so 3d assets i've got some uh, canyons uh, assets like uh, rocks and cliffs and a, and a floor in my plants, I've got some plants because I'll show you the foliage tool and our surfaces, which we used on our surface. All right, so if I go up to 3D asset here, you done that, right. So we've got a canyon floor, a huge canyon sandstone cliff, and another canyon sandstone cliff. So you'll be surprised at what you can do with these three assets. So left click them and drag them on the scene. And now you can see we've got this great big rock here, which we can rotate around by pressing E. We can take it this way, take it this way. You can basically do anything you want with this. All right, so if I say for, let me just drag this over here so we get away from this big hole in the floor behind. So that's now one of our rocks. If I run over here, you can now see this rock in the middle of our landscape. I come out, fly back over, I can add something else. I can take this. Now it's incredible what happens when you play around with these rocks. You can keep adding the same one in more or less over and over, and it still won't look like the same one. And I'll show them what I mean here. So if I took another copy of this over there, dragged it round, Maybe just lowered it a little bit. Okay, take this one, copy it, take it out that way, cross, and up, bring it towards me. And this is just basically trying to get a feel for your creativity here. You can kind of slot that in there like that. And that's basically some sort of cliff. I know it doesn't really tie these. Uh, of edges here don't kind of tie up with this one but these assets are you know they're not exact uh an exact match for the area that i've that i've stolen from so you may be wondering how we can tie that in to the floor because obviously the floor and then you've got rock floor rock there's no soft edge in between floor and rock so you could put in something like this To kind of break the flow up a little bit and drag another one there and then another one over here and you can just keep adding and adding and adding and now you can see that the floor now differs from these because these are brand new things brand new meshes 3d assets so i don't know whether it will show you what i'm about to do on the screen it may do i won't know until I actually edited but if you come into quixel bridge 
I've got all of these downloaded. All right. So if I just quickly throw this one in. in. Now we've got this one. You can just keep adding and adding and see what I mean about getting these um, edges. Yeah. Take this one over there, over there, and then over there. And for the purpose of not keeping it symmetrical, so you can kind of see where your creativity can start running away with you here. And then if you hit play, go over here. It's a big run. Should have dragged it closer. But there's so much you can do with Unreal Engine. You know, this is just the stuff, the very, very basics, you know? Now, now this will obviously be a walk, a walk around a level by the time you completely finish with this. It's so cool what you can do with this. All right, so if I come out of there. So that's the, la that's the landscape. And you need to let your creativity just run here. All right, so I'll just show, quickly show you how to add some... Uh, foliage, trees and plants, etc. So I've got a few plants downloaded. So if we go back up to select mode here, click foliage. Now I've got a few trees, uh, plants, sorry, loaded in already from the Quixel Mega Scans. So the foliage tool is awesome. So it will automatically recognize when you've got foliage installed in your folders, yeah, plants and trees, etc. So if I come down here and click on them all, And then up here, I've got paint, yeah? So it creates this little blue bubble. Now inside that blue bubble, I can paint. Uh, the shaders are gonna take uh, two seconds to load here. Okay, so they look better when the, uh, when the shaders have loaded. So you can just paint and do whatever you want with grass, you know? So if you were on like a big marshland, you can paint in reeds and leaves and it's, it's just endless, endless possibilities with this. So you can change the brush size here. So if you just wanted to get, you know, tuck plants in, tied up to these rocks here, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic. You can change the density. So you can have a lot more inside the circle that you make. Yeah, you can see there are a lot more space together than apart over here. Uh, to undo them, hit shift. Go, go across, sorry, hold shift. Just swipe across them all. And you can add trees, plants, like I said, anything. You can even do static meshes if you really wanted to, um, which is basically these. Uh, so you've got the basics of trees and plants, canyons, texture flooring, and I would just let your imagination now run wild. Um, I will drag my little player character over so you can see. And here, hit play. And now, if you can imagine what you could possibly do with this. Now, how cool does that look? This is program is free. Everything I've done by you hasn't cost me a penny. And it's taken me however long this video has gotten to now. Five minutes. Um, so, yeah. So, that's there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You know, you, you can just run. Like, I'm kind of skipping stuff now. But Control and L. You can just run around. Run away with a light in. And a light in is obviously massive. You know, that's not something you just want to click Control and L on and think you're done. You know, see the sun there? It's it's a huge, huge topic. What, what you can do with lighting in this game and to make it look so ultra realistic. You know? But how cool is that? Right, so I will open up my Canyon World and I will show you what I've kind of done on mine with basically lots of these. Okay, open level. Nope. File. Uh, open project. Got any... Wherever you are, Where'd you go. Where did you go? Nineteen twenty. Here we go. Open. Save selected. Okay. 
Okay, one second. I do apologize if the screen goes black sometimes during this. Uh, I try to record this before um, just to make sure everything was set up right. And sometimes it was coming up with a short, a short black screen for a while. So to see what we got here now. Right, so this is basically everything that I've just showed you. Yeah, you can kind of see. So if I zoom out, I went with something massive. Eventually, I just toned it down to something like this, just to create a lovely angle, uh, a lovely angle from uh, from this video, a lovely scene from this angle. Sorry. So, and all these are completely individual meshes. You know, I can move everything around. I can take this up, down. I can rotate it. Everything is one individual piece that I have dragged in to create this. And again. Control and L, and I hold Control. I can mess around my lighting, make it look dark as if the sun is setting. There's just so much you can do with this. So that's the very, very basics on how to create a 3D world. I would recommend opening up uh, Quixel um, through pressing here. Quickly add to the project, Quixel Bridge, install that software, and just drag your, uh, drag your scans into the scene and just run away with it. So we'll leave it there for now. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like, like I said, I'm completely new. A few subscribers would be epic. Uh, oh, excuse the pun. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.